we got another Glaive review. I'm grinding out content as fast as I can, and if you've been playing Season of the Haunted, there's a ton to do for weapons. There's a lot of really good weapons to pay attention to, and I want to say again that I don't review or talk about things until I get the roles for them and see what they can do and do with them what I want to do with them. They need to be tested, and again, I'm a one-man show, so that takes a little bit. It's a little overwhelming for me this season, but I'm gathering things and reviews are going to be coming out. And as you're playing this season, the red border weapons are going to come. Sometimes you just get red borders and that just adds up quickly on a weapon. That's exactly what happened with Nezerak's Whisper for me. I have it crafted. I'm on my way to getting the perks that I want and I want to show you what it can do and what sets it apart. That's what today's review is about. What to put on this glaive to make it do what others can't. And since this weapon got to five borders so quick, I crafted it. This is where we're going to start. This glaive, Nezarek's Whisper, is an arc glaive, the first legendary arc glaive, and we do have some changes to these weapons. I'm going to sprinkle those in, those updates, as they come out throughout the review. First off, since I know players haven't put too much time into them, I'm going to say it again. It has a basic combat loop of hitting with a projectile. When you get the hit, it grants shield energy. You're going to see it right on your reticle. You then hold your aim down sights button. It's going to draw that shield up, and that mitigates damage. As you hold that shield up, it depletes the charge that you just made from the projectile. While up, that shield grants 97.5% damage resistance in PvE, 75% in PvP. A big part of the loop is landing projectiles, blocking damage, and continuing to land those projectiles. As far as blocking damage, it's all kinds. That's enemy stomp mechanics, projectiles, melees, burns, you name it, you get damage resistance from it. And everything else in between with the glaive, you melee. Bungie has increased the melee versus PvE combatants by 25%, except for bosses and vehicles. Like in the season activity, if you run a glaive, just the regular glaive melee, just one taps red bars. You're a madman, straight up glaiving everything down that you want, one by one. When it comes to the projectile speed, they said that they increased the speed dependent on the range stat. So at a zero stat, increased from 30 to 60 meters per second. At 100 stat, 100 range, increased from 80 to 100 meters a second. That's a massive bump for these glaives. Before, they were very reliant on either A, being very, very close to your enemy, that way you can hit them, or B, having impulse amplifier. Think Enigma. That way you can actually land your shots. But the projectile speed is very noticeable. Like, you see some shots with this glaive, this Nezerak, with 65 range. Then we can go back and compare previous footage of a Lubre, that's the raid glaive with a similar range stat. Night and day difference, night and day. And I'm gonna talk about impulse amplifier in a moment, but this change helps not needing impulse amplifier. They perform well. For the Hafted Magazine, I still believe that range and shield duration are key on the glaives. Even more so now. More range, they have a faster projectile. More shield duration, the longer it's going to be up. It's peanut butter and jelly, just works. That's the glaive loop. So to me, it's still auxiliary reserves and accurized rounds get both of those stats up. That helps your shield and your range. And for the masterwork, if you do craft it, it's range or shield duration. You know, these 60, 63, 65 range stats feel a ton better. But if you want, you can go ballistic tuning. Range masterwork, Akarai's rounds. There's an argument for that because that's the most range that you can get. But after looking at everything and testing things, I think you kind of need both. Auxiliary reserves and Akarai's gives bumps to both stats and it just works the best on glaives. That's what I think. And another thing, they also reduced energy drain speed while shielded by 30%. So it's just a win-win when you do that. When it comes to the perks, you're going to see some familiar faces here and a few new ones. And to me, you always need to look at the new ones. Then see how they fit with the weapon, the play style. Because it's those combinations you're looking for so you can do things that you can't do with the other ones. Nezerak's Whisper does have some things no other glaives can do. And the tried and true perk combinations are always going to be good, always going to be great to fall back on if you go that route. Like think Rangefinder, Eye of the Storm. Think Outlaw Kill Clip. Those type of combos. Glaives have those too. And you can fall back on them. But in the left column, we have Tilting Windmills. Blocking damage with your shield increases movement speed while shielding. It's okay. I'm looking for other things. Things. Lead from gold. Genesis. It's interesting. Breaking a shield refills it from reserves. If it's a matching shield, in this case arc, it regenerates ammo. I would only go this route with one perk pairing. Well, possibly two. It's there. I'll talk about it. Compulsive Reloader? No. Just a no on this thing. Impulse Amplifier. It's going to be good in PvE. Definitely for PvP. Elite for PvP. The changes to the projectiles help a ton, but with Impulse Amplifier, it is the fastest shot. That can't be denied. Demolitionist, exclusive to Nezerax. It's a highlight. Killing with it generates 20% grenade energy. When you throw that grenade, it refills the magazine. S tier for it. I'm going to show you in a moment. Now, on the right side, we have Turnabout. The perk's very beneficial and harder content. Breaking a shield gives you an overshield. Now, I personally don't think so much of it on a glaive. It's going to be up to you. I would go elsewhere. We have Adrenaline Junkie. Another exclusive Nezerak perk. No other glaive has it. Grenade final blows get you to a times five damage bonus, 33% more damage, and also gives you a small handling bump when you get up those stacks. 
adaptive munitions exclusive to it. Now, compared to Hollow Trace, I just covered that Trace Rifle not too long ago, or even Crisis Inverted, the Arc Crucible Hand Cannon, those have adaptive munitions. I think that those are going to be better options. It's on projectile hits, it ramps up to 500% more towards those non-Arc shields. So, you can do something like Genesis Adaptive Munitions, Genesis Turnabout, that can work, that will work. But it's got to be something that you commit to. You're going to build for it. Frenzy, passive great perk. Be in combat for around 12 seconds. You get 50% more damage, massive handling, and reload bonuses. Vorpal weapon, 20% more damage to yellow bars. I don't like it on glaives. Unstoppable force. This is the standard. Pound for pound, one of the best glaive perks that are ever going to be on a glaive. Just by simply blocking damage with your shield, it increases projectile damage for a short time. So for four seconds after blocking damage, it deals 30% more projectile damage. And as long as Unstoppable Force is on a glaive in the game, the way that it is, as far as damage perks, I firmly believe it is the only option, no matter what. It's the best one. Nothing compares to it. Like, let's take a look at some other ones. You might be thinking, oh, Demolitionist Adrenaline Junkie. That sounds great. Adrenaline Junkie gives you 33% more damage after a grenade final blow, or you stack times one all the way to times five. So you're going to use an ability, a grenade, and you got to make sure that your enemy is weak enough to be downed by the grenade, then you get 33% more damage for five and a half seconds. Cool. Or, wait for it, block literally anything, and for four seconds you deal 30% more damage. Or, what about Vorpal? 20% more damage on yellow bars? Or, how's about just block anything and get 30%? Frenzy? It's got great handling and reload. I'll give you that. Be in combat for 50% more damage, or double it to 30 by just blocking anything. It's unstoppable force. It's way too good. So as far as those combinations, if you want to go niche again, there's Genesis paired with adaptive munitions or turnabout. Maybe you can go something like lead from gold with adaptive munitions or turnabout. That's very PVE specific. You got to build into it. That's what you're playing for. If you do that combination, you're looking for that combination of just breaking shields. But if not, I think that the chase role of all the roles is demolitionist unstoppable force that goes for PVE and PVP. And real quick, you know, we do have Arc 3.0 coming out at some point. Since this is an Arc Glaive, some of these perks might be a little bit better, have better synergy. And I want to stress that a role with Impulse Amplifier and Unstoppable Force is going to be good for PvE or PvP. But just know that Enigma has it, and Enigma has five more base range and three more shield duration. So the combination of whatever you do with range and shield when it comes to your Masterwork Mag, Barrel, whatever it is, or the Haft, it's always going to be better on Enigma. But if you want to craft it on Nezirak, it's going to be fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But with Demolitionist Unstoppable Force, you have the opportunity to not only keep the shield up longer, bypass a reload, and you're just going to deal overall more damage. Because with Unstoppable Force, you're going to be in the enemy's face. You're going to be blocking. You're going to be doing 30% more damage. And with the fragments that we have for Stasis, Solar, Void, like take Void. Your Void Grenade applies a debuff. You can be on the enemy. Nezirak also has a six round base mag. The other Glaives have five. That plays a big part. So... You get in their face, throw six shots at them. You're going to have a full charge because you're blocking and taking damage. You're going to throw a grenade, bypass the reload, and unload six more. All with that extra damage bonus. This is the reason to go for this glaive, in my opinion. That's what I recommend. Compared to the others, comparing combinations and synergy, this is it. This is what I'm going to be crafting. And Nezirak also has the extrovert origin trait. Final blows while near multiple combatants or near nightmares restores health. So we have that going on too. Especially in this activity that we're in, it excels. The one I'm crafting is Ox Rounds Accurized Shield Masterwork Demo Unstoppable Force. And you see this play loop. And you see why it just flat out beats Adrenaline Junkie, Vorpal, and Frenzy. It's too good. It's too complete for the Glaive playstyle. And the changes along the way just makes all this a lot better. And on the artifact, we have Unstoppable Glaive and Glaive of Dreams. While you have the Glaive equipped, the Unstable Essence buff gained by picking up objects by Nightmares has double its normal duration. So for right now, the Lubre, in my opinion, because I, I played with all these, the Lubre has the best survivability because of a movable object. And that perk, dealing range damage, grants increased weapon energy while you're stationary with your shield raised. And in that Lubre review, I have a good situation where I'm in a GM versus an Ogre. It's an Unstoppable Ogre. Everyone's down, and I'm just holding my ground. A movable object was there for me, and then I stunned, got back to my team. Good perk. So Lubre for survivability, now the Enigma. Now Enigma has the best PvP role, because it has high stats and the ones that matter, and you're adding in Impulse Amplifier. Now Nezirak here has the best damage loop out of all the glaives. It does, because you get to throw off a lot of shots, throw the grenade, bypass that reload, throw more shots out. All of them have jobs. This glaive, as far as PvP, man, it's so upsetting. 
I hope that a hotfix comes. You only get one ammo per green brick. So they did specifically say that when you do pick up special ammo, it's going to have enough ammo to secure one kill. The shotgun, sniper, fusion, those get one shot because one shot is one kill. The Forerunner, it gets three ammo on a pickup. That's because it takes three shots to down someone. But there's some odd weapons out there. The Glaives, they get one, and also Ariana's Vow, it gets one. These weapons need two shots to kill. You spawn in with four rounds with the Glaive, then you're scavenging the map to find two rounds, that way you have an extra kill. And then you have to be perfect with the Glaive, make sure that your shots land. So Bungie, please give the special weapons that need more than one shot their deserving ammo. Kind of like how Forerunner has. Just make it happen. And it's a shame because this glaive has been great in Rift. Like you can body block, block the spark, block for revives, block going to the enemy spark. It's a blast. But a lot of the match I've been running around trying to find two bricks. That way I can complete a kill. Hopefully that gets changed. But in conclusion, it's a worthy glaive with a worthy combination. Demo unstoppable force. And even when you aren't doing the damage loop, those kills are getting you grenade energy. And if you haven't used a glaive in a while, try it in this activity that we're in. Like I said, the melee is just one shot adds. You have a lot of power and freedom with it. This is a pretty special glaive. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. Let's talk about Nezarek's Whisper down below. What role combinations do you recommend? What are you liking? And what do you find value in? I think that Demo Unstoppable Force is perfect on it. Thank you for watching. And until the next one, I am Cool Guy.